Iowa communities. Carol, Atlantic still tracking the last of this rainfall. Again, we're still uh, we're drying out here in the metro area, but again, we still could see maybe a passing shower or two with the progression of this front that is right on our doorsteps. This blue line that is marking the tail end of all rain and also the intense heat and humidity will finally take a step back for the second half of your weekend plans. But nevertheless, this is the damage that was done over the past few hours, mainly a wind event for most of our northernmost communities. Communities in Burke County, Tacoma, reported a high wind gust as high as 75 miles an hour. Local uh, law enforcement did uh, record and report some medium to large sized trees being down in those communities, but that's about it when it comes to tracking the severity of these storms for this evening. Storm predictor around midnight tonight, still tracking mostly cloudy skies. Here's that small chance, maybe a dotted shower too because of the progression of this front. They finally will be arriving here throughout the pre-dawn hours. We clear out, but waking up under clouds by the time we're waking up for early Sunday morning, partly cloudy conditions by the time we get closer to the afternoon hours. Right now, just a live look down in Sarpy County. Things are drying out, but again, still looking at fairly humid conditions. 79 degrees currently still tracking a heat index value of 82 degrees, 83 and Lincoln 86 is what it feels like 75 in Denison and not much of a departure when it comes to morning lows. Upper 60s to mid to lower 70s for morning low temperature. I'm going with a morning low temperature of 70 degrees here in Omaha, 71 in York, 73 in Beatrice with the storms ending and also we're tracking the winds returning out of the north northeast 5 to 10 miles an hour. So still tracking somewhat of a summer like type of feel, sultry feel for when it comes to the dew points in the 60s and the lower 60s. We were hanging out in the miserable category with a high temperature 100 degrees earlier on this afternoon. Not exactly a repeat for tomorrow. Here's your planner. We're looking at temperatures rebounding out of the lower 70s into the upper 80s for highs. 87 degrees is what I'm going for for a high temperature here in Omaha with partly cloudy, the mostly clear skies by the afternoon. 88 down in Lincoln, 84 down in Beatrice. 84 degrees down in Falls City. So 0% chance of showers and storms throughout the afternoon for your Sunday. I'm calling it 40% chance by Monday morning. However, most of it will remain down to the south, especially south of I-80, but nevertheless, 40% chance of showers and storms. Check out that afternoon high, 79 degrees, 87 for your Tuesday. With sunny skies returning, but more active weather, more impact weather by midweek. But the numbers remaining in the 80s, which is pretty routine for this time of the year. So we have some much deserving cooler weather, more seasonable weather moving in throughout the next seven days. Something I'm definitely looking